If you've ever had your man card taken away, just sitting in this bad boy will get it back for you. This is the screen-used stunt ice charger from the movie Fate of the Furious or Fast 8. It's based off a 1968 Dodge Charger, but hellaciously upgraded. Dennis McCarthy of Vehicle Effects has created most of the Fast and Furious cars, and this time was tasked with making Dom's next car capable of driving on ice, outracing a nuclear submarine, and being equipped with a giant electromagnetic pulse device. He answered the ice challenge by making the coolest charger ever. It starts with a wide body and a hot rod stance, with much larger, wider wheels in the rear than in the front. For the movie, the tires were enhanced with a thousand spikes on each tire for additional traction. To make it even more ridiculous, they made the 707 horsepower beast all-wheel drive and three locking differentials. Knowing the abuse it was going to take, it's held together with a fully tubular open frame. The electromagnetic pulse device is a movie prop, but it does shoot flames with a propane connection. Most movie cars cut costs, but Dennis also added some high-performance details like the side exit exhaust from Magnaflow. This is not a prop and actually shoots flames. They also used high-performance rims and Willwood parts. As you can see, the interior design is for function, not fashion. Or passengers. For hardcore Mopar guys, remember, this is a movie car, so sadly it doesn't have a Hemi, but Dennis and his crew still use the LS3 V8 with the Turbo 400 transmission. That's what they use in pretty much every car they make so they can easily swap from project to project. The car you're looking at was a screen-use stunt car that at one point was riddled with bullet holes. Special effect teams bore holes in the car, fill them with explosives, seal them up, and then paint back over them. There's a remote control device under the hood that is triggered when cued by the director for the action scene. They covered them up for promotional touring after the movie, but you can still see them here. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing, and we'll show you another awesome movie car tomorrow. What did the man say after he slipped and fell on ice? Nothing. He just gave everyone the cold shoulder.